Hi there, welcome to this economics revision video on quantitative skills. In this video, we're going to be exploring how we use quantiles when we're analysing economic data. Don't forget that the list of essential quantitative skills that you need is found in the very back in one of the appendices of your syllabus. So, what we're going to have a look at to start with is what we mean by a quantile. All it is, is just a way of splitting up a population group so that we can assess equality or the distribution of something across a population. We tend to meet three different types, deciles, quintiles and quartiles. For deciles, we're splitting our population into tenths. Quintiles, the population is split into fifths. And quartiles, we are splitting our population into quarters. We're going to take a super quick look at what each of those looks like. Now, Imagine this is our population displayed on the screen. We've got 20 people in our population. And what we're going to do is line them up from the lowest income to the highest income. And then, because we're in deciles, we're thinking about splitting it into equal groups, but we need 10 equal groups. These are our deciles, so each group is one decile. Now, the way that we describe them is that our first decile is the bottom 10% of the population in terms of their income, the second, and so on, and so, so forth, all the way up to their 10th decile, which is the 10th of the population with the highest level of income. The process is absolutely identical if we're looking at quintiles. Again, we have our same population lined up from lowest to highest, and this time we're splitting our population into equal fifths. Each of those groups, each of those fifths, is a quintile. Again, our first quintile is our 20% of the population with the lowest income. Our second quintile is the group in the 20 um, and 40th percentiles, and so on, all the way up to our fifth quintile, which is the 20% of the population with the highest level of income. No prizes for guessing what a quartile looks like. We've lined our population up again from lowest to highest income splitting them into equal quarters, equal groups, e uh, four equal groups. These are our quartiles. Now, the most likely way that you're likely to see this is in relation to Lorenz curves, which is a graphical depiction of equality. This could be in terms of income. It can also be in terms of wealth. In this case, we're going to take an example looking at weekly income in the UK. So on the screen there, for each uh, decile, I've added in the current average weekly income in pounds for each of our 10 deciles. And you can see they're quite different. When we construct a Lorenz curve, what we need to do is convert that into cumulative income. So our first decile, the numbers are going to be exactly the same, our first decile. But our second decile, so the bottom 20% of our population, we're adding together decile one and decile two. Our third grouping there, we're adding together the first decile, the second decile and the third decile to give our cumulative income for the poorest 30% of our population. If you like, you can pause the video at this point and work through all those numbers and see if yours would match mine on the screen. What we then need to do to construct a Lorenz curve, the next step is to turn this into cumulative percentages. So I've done those there for you. Let's just take a quick look at how this is constructed. We're going to start by looking at our first decile there. Now they have £130 per week in their income. And what that means is that 1.7% has been constructed from taking that 130 and expressing it as a percentage. You can see the highlighted green bit on the right hand side of the screen, expressing it as a percentage of the total cumulative income in the economy. So expressing the income of the first decile as a proportion of the income of the entire population. Okay, so the workings are just there at the top of the screen for you. And if you carried out that calculation, it would give you 1.7%. If you were going to calculate the second one, 4.9%, you would get that by doing 380 divided by 7,770 multiplied by 100. Again, if you like, you can pause the video at this point and just practice carrying out those simple percentage calculations just to make sure you fully understand what's going on. So what do we do next? 
all I've done here, that table on the left, is just pulling through the information from the previous slide. That's all it is. So if you remember our first decile, the 10%, uh, lowest 10% of the population have 1.7% of the income. The poorest 20%, so that's our first and second decile added together, had 4.9%. So that's where that table has come from. Now let's just take a quick look at the chart in the middle there, the diagram. You can see our axes. We have um, cumulative share of population on our x-axis and cumulative share of income on our y-axis. Now, if every single person in the economy had an identical level of income, we would be able to plot a line of equality. So 10% of the population would have 10% of the income, 20% of the population would have 20% of the income, and so on. But that's clearly not the case in the example on the screen. So let's just take a look at what happens with 50% of the population. I've just plotted one point on here for you. You could quite easily go away and plot all of those. And again, if that's something you want to do, you could pause the video now and have a go at that. As you can see from what's on the screen, 50% of my population, the poorest 50%, have 22% of the income. So I've just plotted that particular point on the screen there. If I repeated the process for all of those other data points, I would get a curve, a Lorenz curve that looks something like this. The further away that Lorenz curve is from that line of equality, that's an indicator that there is more inequality in our economy. The closer to the line of equality our Lorenz curve lies, the less inequality that there is in the economy. Do take a look at our other revision videos on quantitative skills. Thanks for watching.